With digital sculpture software, we can not only make whatever we want, but we can also make things that look like they were sculpted out of all kinds of real world materials. In this video, I'll show you an easy way to get the look of roughly carved wood. So I've got the gargoyle statue open, and I want to give it a surface treatment so that it looks like the sculpture was whittled away by hand with a knife. Now you could do this by hand, for example, by coming in with the flatten brush, maybe B, F, A, and you could come in here and try to make it look like you had whittled away at this, and the effect might be kind of cool, but it's really time consuming. So I'm gonna hit Control Z to undo this, and let me show you a way to automate this. Now before making any big changes, what I like to do is make a morph target so that I can always come back to the way it was before I started making big changes. So you can click Del MT if it's got that button there active, and now we can just go ahead and store a new morph target. What we're going to use for this is a surface plugin. So what this does is it applies a pattern to the entire surface of the model. So under surface, I'm going to turn on noise, and we get this secondary viewport here that shows us what the model looks like with noise applied to it. So you can kind of see this rough, noisy surface on here, and that is created by a general noise that gets applied to everything. However, instead of noise, what I wanna do is actually apply a different pattern. So let's go to Noise Plug, and let's change this to Voronoi. All right, that's fine, click OK. So it might be kind of hard to see the effect. We wanna change some of these settings here to make it easier to see. The first one I wanna change is Mix Basic Noise. What this basically does is it mixes the standard noise with the Voronoi pattern that I want. But I don't want any noise at all, I just want the Voronoi pattern. Voronoi is named after a mathematician who invented it. It's kind of a bubbly looking pattern, kind of a, a cellular looking pattern. And we're gonna use it to create a wood carved effect. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see that Voronoi pattern on here. I'm gonna change the plugin scale. Let me try to drag this left or right, see if I can get a sense of the effect. All right, the strength might be too low to actually see it. Let me increase, there we go. Now we're starting to see the effect. Now we can change the scale here. Just whatever looks good to you. And actually the strength, I wanna have it go in the opposite direction. So it's having sort of a concave effect rather than a convex. So here it feels like it's sinking in in the pattern as opposed to here where it's kind of bubbling out. All right, so that's good. Let's click OK. So now that pattern is applied to the model, but it's not actually deforming the model. It's sort of creating a bump map effect without actually distorting the shape. So what I want to do is actually lock in the effect so it's actually changing the shape of the model. Now we can go back to the morph target and we can play with this slider to either increase or decrease the effect. So if we slide all the way to the right, that's gonna go back to the way it was before without any change, or we can really bring in a drastic carved whittled effect. So somewhere kind of around here looks good to me. Of course, in addition to this, you can also do some manual sculpting on top to create any additional effects that you want, but you can see this gave us a really good head start. Let's take a look all the way around. All right, that's a really nice effect without too much work.